Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, forever land of grain. Yes, my friends, if you ever, before I started walking almost six years ago, and by the way, after I'm done with today's great 10 mile patriotic march, I'm going to be at 8,940 miles in five and a half years, almost six years, my friends. Yeah, if you saw a guy walking along, well, parked along the highway with only this much space to risk his car just to get pictures, that was me. I love this beautiful country. And like I told my good friend, Larissa, hello, Larissa and Tony from England. I salute you. <laughs> but anyways, I, I, I miss talking to you on the internet. Sorry, I'm always so busy. But anyways, uh, yeah, I love this country, man. I told Larissa one day, as like, I was study as always, I was studying, I was studying something in history, and I was studying the American Civil War, actually. And I, and I, if it wasn't for the South. You know, everybody fought for their own land. They own land somewhere in this country. So it was the love of the land they live in that was the greatest weapon of all. And if you think about it, that's why the Native Americans fought so hard. And we captured the American spirit, actually. Our founding fathers took that flame and they took that fire for freedom and they lit the world with it. So now we find ourselves uh, in the in the future, and the last we're here. We are at the last castle of freedom, fighting uh, for freedom. Freedom all around the world has been almost extinguished, and it's the American patriot that needs to wake their asses up. But anyways, this back to the love of the land. Uh, fracking. Uh, this is the uh, this one. This video, as always, when you find a video of mine. It's uh, the beginning of a great conversation. The conversation continues on my website right at the bottom of the video. You'll find a link to go to the blog. All right, pass my blog, pass my website to your friends. Here's my question I have to ask you. But anyways, it's got everything, I, everything new I can find about the battle against fracking because it's totally screwing up the, the groundwater of this beautiful world this beautiful country, this beautiful world we live in. Oh, they're doing it and they don't care. But anyways, you know about fracking. This is just a short video. Go check out my blogs about fracking. And my question to you, how does your drinking water taste? And here's how you can check it because this is how we found out the fracking in my area has destroyed our drinking water. Does your coffee or tea taste different? If it does, stop drinking it Buy a dis get go buy distilled water. You are being poisoned. I repeat, you are being poisoned. Do not drink your coffee if it tastes different, or your tea, or your any. Unfortunately, you have to shower in it. But like I said, go check it out. Go check out my videos on my blog. Pass my blog to your friends. Pass my video to your friends, and I'll see you guys in the next video.